Hey everyone, welcome back again to the KSR YouTube channel. As you saw by the intro of the video, the go-kart lives again. Go-kart? It's a golf cart. I know better than this to call it a go-kart. Anyways, yes, it does pretty awesome burnouts. And for the middle part of this video, I'm gonna walk you through the things we did to get it back up and going again. I still have a few more things that I want to address to make it even better. For one, the brakes are awful. So that needs to be fixed before, I mean, they're like Garrett said they were bad. They're really bad. I didn't know until I actually got to drive the thing, but we're gonna do something to make them a lot better. Have some ideas and probably we'll do that in, in another video later down the road. Uh, this video is gonna be coming out on Christmas. So Merry Christmas to everyone. Hope you guys are having a good time with your families. And um, I guess let's get to the rest of the video. All right guys, so here is the pedal out of the golf cart. We took it out and originally, well, let's see if this will stand up. Originally this piece was on the bottom of there. The throttle cable attached to here. And what we want to do is bring this attachment point up <clears throat> so that takes more throttle pedal travel to pull the cable the same distance. So actually the way it fulcrums is it pushes on this throttle cable adapter and then there's another piece under the golf cart that flips it around and turns it into a pull mechanism. So what we're gonna do is make it to where we can, I wish it would stay up. That would be, a, that would be very helpful if it would stay up. Um, we're gonna make it to where make it to where this piece, I think I want to attach it somewhere in here. So I'm going to cut this off and space that up there so that it, it doesn't, we don't lose any distance that it can travel and it won't put the, the piece that's in there under a bind. So we'll get it made and then we'll sh give you some details, show you how it uh, actually operates inside of the golf cart. So along with the uh, re-engineered uh, pedal geometry, I also had an idea to do a pedal stop so that we can kind of limit the throttle pedal, say, you know, 20% or 50% or it's probably going to be a, a pretty good range because I've got an idea of, of using a tube. It's going to slide with inside of another tube and we'll use my little mill and we'll see if we can come up with, um, drill some holes through the center of this and see if we can make something that's easy to use, but will also be quick to adjust so that something that can be done on the fly and and uh, something we can make some changes with really quick.
wasn't planning on getting it back together this quickly, but the opportunity presented itself and we have the golf cart ready to go out and do a little driving. So this is the bar that I welded in after we straightened the, the front axle and I cut it in a couple of spots and bent it back around and then went ahead and welded it. Um, we put some new bolts in, uh, some of the bolts that the spindles turn on were kind of worn out. I still haven't reinforced this area yet. I kind of wanted to bolt it together and see just what kind of room I had for adding extra material to it. And since it's together and I'm, I'm about ready to go home for Christmas, so it's kind of like, I need to go drive this thing. So the axle, which you saw already in the, uh, in the video, the axle is all put back together. I haven't, un or I haven't straightened the wheelie bars yet, but this is how what I'm gonna do. They're upside down right now, and I'm gonna lower it down and probably jump on it and see if they will unbend. I already took the twist out of them, and the only thing that's left is taking that bit of bend out of them. You can also kind of see how bent those are, but they're mostly bent right in the middle. So I'm gonna cut out the two bent sections, and then I've got another piece of tubing that those will slide, those will just barely slide inside of, and then that'll make it to where it's literally just cut it, clean it, weld it, and they're back straight again. So let's go, uh, oh yeah, let's see the pedal stop too. So I'll, that's all functional. And you can see with it there, you get a little bit of throttle, but not a lot. And then there's adjustments, which that's just all the way down, but there's adjustments all the way down to where it goes wide open. Just for the first little rip today, I'm gonna start with it. I'm gonna start with it all the way down at the bottom. All right, well, let's see what happens. tears out of my eyes because of all the wind. With some glasses? Maybe. It's like relatively stable though. Like it's really not Yeah. Really not silly. It sounds pretty silly. It did yeah. I'll see if it'll do a burnout. I agree.
So who doesn't love a good burnout? That was a ton of fun. Um, yes, we had it tied to my truck because the thing has no front brakes on it. So it kind of makes sense we had to do something to keep it from rolling while we were doing a burnout. Uh, we had actually played around with a couple of test burnouts, playing with the tire pressure, and we put the um, we put the hard uh, regular stock tires on the back so we wouldn't tear up the uh, the slicks. So uh, it was a ton of fun. The, my entire shop smells like like rubber dust from a burnout. So that uh, that's kind of the things that happen when you do burnouts close to the shop. There's rubber dust all over the cart, so I'm going to get that cleaned up and get it to where, uh, see if we can figure out how to fix the brakes on the thing, fix the wheelie bars. I need to fix where uh, we broke off some bolts here when in the crash. So I've got a little trick to at least try to get those out. We'll see if my little trick works. Uh, thanks again for tuning into the channel. Please like and subscribe to the channel and hit the, uh, the bell icon so you can be notified when we release a new video. All right, guys, we will see you next time.